about reincarnation and karma. I feel like like I'm heading to a certain direction and always something happening, complete detour, and I cannot do nothing about. Complete detour, you detour say? Detour for my original plans. Oh, yeah. What is the hindrance to your original plans? Like doing rightfully things and that's how it's supposed to be. That's what I would like to. This is my desire. This is what I would like to do. And always something happening like total reversal. So seemingly nothing happens. And you don't know how that kind of interferes right. with your original direction. Is that like, correct? Yes. Okay. Like something forcing me to uh, just take right. a different direction. I love direction. this one. It's something is forcing me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Here's the question. Like I said, questions open up the mind. Yes. What am I doing right now? When you feel that something is interfering, yeah. it's actually a projection because we are not aware of our karma at that point, yeah. that moment. So when you feel the interference or that something is controlling from above or something is diverting you, immediately look at your own actions, look at your own speech, look at your own thoughts and emotions. So what am I doing right now? That includes all the four channels that I have just described. Yes. And you will see your own hand in it. And remember, this isn't a guilt trip. It's a discovery. You discover how you generate your own world with what kind of thoughts, feelings, speech, and action. You will see how you generate the hindrance. So this is in person, my personality interfering or? Not just you. Your interaction with the world has echoes, I and see. that echo comes back to you. I see. Nobody wants to consciously sabotage their game plan, but right. we all do that to a certain extent because we are unaware of cause and effect. So cause and effect is the ripple that comes back from several surfaces in the universe, whether it's next block or next country or continent. So see how you generate that, and you stop that or modify that, the echoes will also be different. I zeroed in my conclusion that something must have happened in the past, past life, like I must correct. I have to make it right now, this time. Can you go back to the past? No. Great. Can you fix the past? If I know what it is, what I'm dealing with? No. Right? You can so only fix this moment, this, this present moment. moment. Right. Whatever your homework is from the past comes straight at you, right at this moment. Mm -hmm. Future is the same. You cannot make the future apart from this moment. What you're making right now becomes a result, and that is the foundation for what we call future. Okay, thank you. So if you, if you want to understand the nature of this moment, then see that all past, present, and future karma are integrated to here and now. And that's why, if you want to fix any past karma or prepare any good future karma, you have to control this moment. And in it, you have to perceive your karma. But that's it all. is existing, the karma and reincarnation, and we, or no? Nothing exists by itself, independent of us. Because if we it. make it, yeah. we have it. If that's we it. don't make it, we don't have it. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I had the privilege to sit with you on uh, Thursday. Thank you for coming. Yes, thank you. I asked about analyzing, and you responded, no, no, <laughs> we don't analyze. But I struggle with that. Um, and this evening, in response to the one woman in English, when we have the karma, and we sit in, in the moment, and look at that, how to react, and then we discover perhaps it was something I did or thought in the past. Would that be analyzing? Or is there First of all, I would like to give back the honor to proper analysis at the right time and right place. During meditation, we don't analyze. Uh -huh. Okay. I should have said that or must have said that. I can't recall. Right. But during meditation, in Zen, we do not analyze. It's oh. very emphatically there. Okay? Okay. Because if you cannot switch off your computer, you will never attain the operator. Right. When it's time to analyze, like you're a psychologist, mm -hmm. or you work for Wall Street, 
or you have to give your report to your boss, you analyze. It's your job. Mm -hmm. But nothing is absolute. If it's a thing, either out there or in here, it's relative. Mm -hmm. It depends on causes and conditions. That means it has its own right time and right place for its function. Analysis has its very good uses, but sometimes it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Like when you love someone, you don't analyze the relationship. Mm -hmm. You just love the person. Okay. Okay? I think that explains. But if you are a pro and you have to help someone psychologically, you just turn off any transference mm -hmm. and you analyze. You can be compassionate, but even if you have any kind of positive polarity, you hold it back. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you.